All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Sports Dom coming back with another video. And this is my player profile. Uh, and today's focus is on Buffalo Bills quarterback Josh Allen. Uh, Josh Allen is six foot five. Uh, he went to the University of Wyoming. He's 25 years old. And he throws right. And. He was drafted in 2018, number seven overall. The Buffalo Bills made a trade with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for the seventh overall pick to draft Josh Allen. And he's also 237 pounds. So, and the Buffalo Bills just gave him a lot of money. He went to, uh, he played one year of junior college at Reedley College before transferring to the University of Wyoming where he led the Cowboys to a Mountain West Conference division title and two, count them, two bowl games. Um, so he's been, you know, in the bowl. He knows the pressure. Um, and he wants to take his bills to the Super Bowl. And he just signed a six-year extension worth $258 million dollars. So congratulations to Josh Allen on the extension. Uh, the most guaranteed money in NFL history. He got $150 million guaranteed, $43 million per year. Uh, that's $2 million less than Patrick Mahomes. Um, so, uh, but nobody wanted Josh Allen. Uh, all Bills fans, well, a lot of them anyway. Uh, wanted Josh Rosen and I'm glad that uh, they didn't get Josh Rosen because I kept saying it was either going to be if Baker Mayfield went one overall then the Buffalo Bills were going to take Josh Allen they didn't want Sam Darnold they didn't want Lamar Jackson they didn't want Josh Rosen they wanted Josh Allen because he's played in this weather he's played in Buffalo weather He's played in the snow. He's played in the wind. He knows how to do it. And he's a better all-around QB than Sam Darnold. He's a better all-around QB than Baker Mayfield. He's a better all-around QB than um, Josh Rosen. So uh, the Buffalo Bills in 2017 could have had Patrick Mahomes. But they traded the 10th pick to the Kansas City Chiefs to move down 17 spots to number 27 where they took Tredavious White, cornerback, out of LSU. Which I like that pick too. But uh, Josh Allen, he's improved every single season uh, that he's been with the Bills. And his career... Stats, uh, his completion percentage for his career, they have it at uh, 69.8 or 61.8, uh, but I'm not sure that's a career. In 2019, he was 58.8%, 3,089 yards, 20 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 85.3 rating. But in 2020, last year, when the Bills swept the AFC East Division. Josh Allen was a 69.2 rating, 4,544 yards, 37 touchdowns, 10 interceptions, 107.2 rating. And he's going to be even better in 2021. He won't play in Friday's opener against the, uh, the Detroit Lions, which is good. Uh, let him sit. Um, you know, uh, don't don't risk him getting hurt. Um, in 2018, Josh Allen uh, was five and six as a starter. In 2019, they went ten and six. He was uh, ten and six as a starter. It says here. And in 2020, he was thirteen and three. And the Bills were 13-3. Nobody expected a 13-3. and three. 
Um, but Josh Allen and the Bills, and they weren't just winning games like 20 to 17, 20 to 16, like they were uh, in previous years. I mean, they were winning games like 48 to 7, uh, 52 to 10, uh, 56 26, uh, like they beat the Miami Dolphish. Uh, so, um, and, and they did it with their second and third stringers. The, the lolfish, the LOL fish, <laughs> couldn't even beat our second and third stringers. And they pulled Josh out at halftime because the game was so out of hand. He didn't even have to play the second half. The second and third stringers did it themselves. But, um, like I said, I don't know why, you know, uh, no fans wanted Josh Allen. I'm glad they drafted Josh Allen, and everybody's glad now. Everybody's glad now. <coughs> and he just got paid. So, guys, comment in the comment section below on what you think. And as always, if you like my videos, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you don't miss a video. Stay tuned for my Buffalo Bills at Detroit Lions preview, and stay tuned for my next player profile. You don't want to miss it. Go Bills. Let's beat the Detroit Lions in Detroit. Uh, and I know it's only preseason, but the last time the Bills were in the preseason, they went 4-0 for the first time in team history. And they're in two years, they're undefeated in the preseason because they didn't have preseason last year. But anyways, go Bills. We're going to see Mitchell Trubisky, Jake Fromm, and Davis Webb at quarterbacks Friday for the Buffalo Bills. So go Bills, let's beat the Detroit Lions at Ford Field in Detroit.